Hello everybody, it's 526 about 530 on April 19th and we're back with another shop video and this is going to be a two-parter we'll actually get into the next day probably when we do the second part of this video but the reason I came back so quick is remember I had the laptop, the Acer laptop that I suspected had hard drive issues. Well, I ran the check disk this afternoon after I made the first video. And let's take a look at the results. Yep. Bad, bad clusters everywhere. Everywhere on this drive. And the other telltale is if you notice down at the bottom, one of the areas where there's bad clusters is Windows System 32 Config. Now, that is a significant folder because that is the folder on a Windows system where the registry files are stored and as I said earlier there are five files so any problems at all in this in that folder is going to cause you big issues instantly without a doubt I've said it a thousand times my subscribers are probably sick of hearing me say it back up back up back up I always say that you get three years out of the hard drive but that's not a hundred percent true everybody this drive is less than a year old and look at it just look at it let this screen sink in for a minute No. Oh. Whoa. Yep. And this new one that just came up, guys, while I was shooting this. Windows System 32 Config Software. That is one of the specific folders where registry files are stored. I believe it's actually the software folder I forget what exact hive we're talking about by the way if any of you are interested in registry terminology and folders and hives and keys just leave a comment and I'll do a video on it and I'll go over exactly what is what uh, we definitely have very serious problems on this drive in the registry area, which is why we're getting that bad system config info blue screen earlier. And also, I had to make a Windows 10 USB stick because when we're dealing with a bad system config info blue screen, you can't use the tools that are on the computer's hard drive to diagnose the problem. You have to run the machine off of a USB stick and attack the problem that way, as I said earlier. So here's the USB stick. And actually, it won't even go on to stage 5 because there's so many errors. So what we're going to do is, the owner's not quite sure. This laptop could still be under a warranty and the owner's not quite sure of that. So she's going to call the place where it was purchased from and find out what the story is, which she probably won't be able to do until Monday. And then we're going to go from there. Uh, for right now, we're going to move on to the next project, which you will see me get back 
to, for you guys it'll be a minute, for me it'll be a few hours, it'll be a little longer. I'll see everybody in a minute with the next project. See everyone then. Well, as I said, it's just a minute for you guys, but for me, it's actually the next day. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get any pictures of the open case of the new server for my Waterbury client, but the machine is built, is running, it has Windows Server Essentials 2019 installed on it, and it's presently hunting down all the missing drivers. It's going to take a while because this program has to download 14.8 gigabytes yes that's gigabytes of files and then it will figure out what's what and turn all those red bars green and when they go green that means we have a driver installed and then I'll go over and go through the setup of the other hard drives that are on the machine and then we'll just keep plugging away. Got the box of parts that are going to go to the client over here. I have to sort through it. And the driver CDs, which in this case don't work very well because this is Windows Server Essentials, which although it looks exactly like Windows 10, for the uninitiated, there are minor differences, and those minor differences are enough to throw off driver installation programs. As always, rate, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, feedback is helpful. If you like what you see, let me know. If you don't like what you see, let me know that too, and we'll make some improvements. I will see everyone next time. Have a, have a great Easter holiday, everyone. Bye-bye.